Crypto Jetta. I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're a existing subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I recently hit 600 subscribers and I appreciate it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Crypto Jetta. And you can also visit my website, CryptoJetta.com. So today I'm going to talk about BUSD Crops Farmer and why I feel you shouldn't invest into it anymore. Um, it was good while it lasted, I feel like, but the total value lock now is 131,000. Um, I think from my last video that I posted about over a month ago, uh, the TVL was around, I think, 500,000. Let me go back and check real quick, guys. Hold on. Yeah, as you can see here, the TVL from literally yesterday, a month ago was 535,000 now it's like I said it's dropped down to 131,000 and for me I feel like that's not a reason to dwell into this project anymore so this will be my last video on it but we can check the uh, farmer dashboard stats here I initially deposited $23.22 just to try out the platform um, from the continuous um, compounding I was able to reach a total deposit of $141.83. Now, if I didn't have this referral reward here of $41.10, you know, I wouldn't return on investment because I was only able to withdraw $17.17 .17 from this. Uh, so, like I said, if I didn't have this, I wouldn't return on investment. But luckily, somebody referred under me and I appreciate that person for doing that um, so I was able to 200% um, return on investment well almost 300% return on investment because selling this crops and then the referral rewards I was able to attain around about 58 59 dollars worth so um, like I said this is this was a successful project um, but it's more well, due to the whole inflation thingy, majig, or whatever, I guess you could say, that they had, well, the inflation mechanic that they had into this uh, project, it was kind of hard to, I guess you could say, with return on investment. As you can see now, there's no point trying to uh, compound. As you can see, my estimated daily yield is around $0.07, cents, and that would just be a waste of gas fee. Um... And the only reason why this daily yield is low is just the simple fact the total BUSD lock is low as well. So I think um, the developer of this project released a BNB crops farmer not too long ago. But like I said, I'm not going to participate in any more miners except for um, the drip garden. Like I said, I haven't um, talked about this yet, but I will. Uh, it plays an important role into my my drip strategy that I have here I know my previous videos here I've talked about my rose to riches a vlog which deals with drip uh, but anyway like I said once that time is right I'm actually working on the let's see if we go to my website here I'm actually working on a website right now where I will have my um, guide here on my website and, and as you can see here, I moved BUSD Crops Farmer to no longer active because I'm no longer participating in this. So, but anyway, guys, I just want to talk about um, BUSD Crops Farmer. Is it a good time to get into it? Uh, no, I don't think it's a good time to get into it anymore, uh, unless the TVO just somehow uh, goes back up, maybe to like five hundred thousand. But like I said, um, to me, pretty much, I'm not gonna get into it anymore so uh, with that said if you like this video please hit the like button also like I said if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and that notify notification bell so that way you'll be notified of new videos and also follow me on Twitter and that is it guys have a good one